In this section of the training, we'll be going over the Quick Start menu. Once you power on the unit for the first time, the Quick Start menu will come up automatically. The first question you'll be asked is whether or not you want the wizard to start every time the DVR is restarted. It's recommended to uncheck this, that way you only need to run the setup wizard once. Click next to continue with the setup wizard. On the first section of the menu, you will be asked to log in using the DVR's admin password. If this is the first time using the NVR, the password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you would like to change the default password, you can do so by clicking the New Admin Password box and typing in a new password in the New Password field. Press Enter and repeat the steps once more to confirm the new password. If you do not want to change the default password, click Next to continue with the wizard. The current time zone for this location is Eastern, but can be changed by simply clicking the drop down. The date format field is to change how the NVR displays the date. Next is the system date and time. Note that the time needs to be entered in a 24 hour format. This menu is used to configure the NIC cards of the NVR. The first option is to set the NIC type. It's recommended to leave this option as self adapted. If the NVR is currently connected to your network or router, and you would like the NVR to receive an IP address automatically, you can click the DHCP checkbox and continue with the next menu. Otherwise, you can select an IP address manually. If you are entering an IP address manually, make sure you are selecting an IP address that matches your current network scheme. Next, enter the appropriate submit mask and gateway address for your network connection. The next two fields are for entering your network's DNS information. The final option on this menu is for configuring your camera's network IP address. Note, this is the address scheme your IP cameras will use to connect to the NVR, and its IP address must be different from the above network scheme. Click next to continue with the wizard. This menu is used to set up the hard drive. This has already been done for you, so just click next to continue with the wizard. This menu is used to add cameras to the NVR. However, the cameras provided have firmware that will automatically connect. Press next to continue with the wizard. This menu is used to set the recording options for each of the cameras. You can choose to either record continuously, record on motion, or not record at all. The NVR is set to record on motion in all cameras by default. If this works for your application, please click OK to close the wizard. Otherwise, if you want IP camera 1 to record continuously, Ensure that the Start Recording option is checked and that the selection is set to Normal. If you want this option on any other camera or all the other cameras, press the Copy button and check the cameras you want. As an example, I will copy this option to Camera 4 and click OK to confirm. Next. Let's set camera 2 to not to record. You can do this by unchecking the start recording checkbox. Let's go ahead and confirm that these channels have the recording settings that we have selected. Once they have been confirmed, we can click OK and close the wizard. This concludes this section of the training.